Okay, since I couldn't find a good video on YouTube that really showed you how to change your Halo settings, especially not the advanced ones, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Um, you go into Halo, you click settings, you go to video setup, you should already know that by now, but here's the things that most people don't know about. Um, a lot of these videos you'll see people say, turn this on and turn this on and turn this on. Okay, yeah, that's all great. That makes it look better a little bit. But what it really comes down to is, is resolution. Okay, if you don't change your resolution up from 8 by 6 or 640 by 480, fact is it's going to look like crap. So you want to turn it up higher. Um, I would say go ahead and turn it all the way up if your monitor supports it. That is the maximum resolution you can play on Halo without making a custom configuration. I'll show you how to do that for you enthusiasts with big old 24 inch monitors. Um, however, I don't advise you play on that because it keeps you from using no VSync. So 16 by 12 is the largest resolution you can use no VSync with. And yes, you want to use no VSync all the time. Don't use VSync. Don't use 30 FPS. Use no VSync. The only time you don't want to use no VSync is if you uh, are getting severe screen tearing. But otherwise, always use no VSync because, well, it gives you as much FPS as your computer is going to put out. So, um, as far as specular and all this other stuff goes, uh, it's personal preference, really. If your computer can support it and you want it, then go ahead and turn it on. If your computer is too slow and you still want good performance, then you're going to have to turn them off. Personally, I play with... Uh, where is it? Come on. There you are. These are my settings. Um, I, I hate particles because of the freaking dust and the smoke and uh, stuff that gets in my face. and makes it hard to shoot. Plus, it every time somebody throws a grenade at you, your FPS dips. Even with my computer, my FPS dips to like 200 or something. Which, you know, I mean, I know it's like ridiculous to complain about 200 FPS, but fact is, it's a lot. It, you notice it. Like, if you're getting 1,000 and all of a sudden you're getting 200, it's like, whoa, you felt that because it slows your mouse down. And um, again, that's why you want to run no VSync because the higher the frame rate, the better your mouse is going to respond to the game. The faster you can aim, the faster you shoot more kills you can get um, so yeah just select the resolution that best suits you try and keep you, you control F12 to bring up your FPS counter try to keep your FPS above uh, 100 if you can stay above 100 you're probably in a good zone um, if your computer doesn't get 100 FPS no matter what setting you use even if you use 640 by 480 and everything turned off uh, that means you have a really slow computer and you're pretty screwed on that one. So you're not going to want to bother with this next thing I'm going to show you called Dart. But yeah, for all purposes, high resolution means better quality, but lower resolution means better performance. So it's up to you which one you want. Okay, so this is Halo's standard graphics real quick. Again, this is um, just my standard settings that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to do a Blood Gulch run here show you what just the regular graphics look like, which you should probably already know if you have them, of course. Now, if your graphics don't look like this, if you don't have color graphics, and your stuff is like black and white almost, or like gray looking, um, then your your GPU doesn't support the right shaders to run uh, Dart, so what, this won't matter. You're not going to be able to use this anyways. So yeah, just keep in mind the base and uh, the fact that when you scope in, you see the Warthog over there, see how it's blurry? So like, that's going to be your key f changes here when you when you enable Dart. That's probably the biggest uh, change you're going to notice. So um, let me just show another map that really brings out the specular. Uh, Chillout's a good one for this. You can see how the uh, colors and the the reflective surfaces aren't all that reflective. They're like a dull color. I mean, some of them, they're kind of reflective. You can tell they are. They just, they don't pop out like they could. And, of course, with the scope blur, you see how there's um, the blur there on the side. So all this is about to change when I go ahead and put that config file into the Halo directory. Okay, so this is how you apply the uh, Disable Alpha Render Targets, or Dart, configuration to uh, Halo. So you go to your downloads... And you find the configuration that you just downloaded from the link below. Copy. Go to your icon. I'm using custom edition, but this works for custom edition, uh, trial, and full version. So you go to uh, right-click, properties. And you have to make sure you're selected on the icon, not out here. 
So like if you're on XP and you go to properties, you're just going to bring up your display manager. You have to right click the icon. And then uh, you pull up the properties and you go to open file location. And that'll bring up your Halo custom edition or whatever uh, directory. So you can right click and paste. You go to copy and replace. And that's it. Now you're set for Dart. Alright, so here's a video of a chill out with um, disable off render targets enabled with that configuration that I have in my status thing. Uh, you see here that uh, the scope blur, like if I, uh, hold on, I need a bullet hole. Okay, let's look at this. This. See how clear the assault rifle looks even in the side? So you get rid of the scope blur with that, and then of course you see how shiny this, um, it's like a mirror finish on all the uh, the specular enhanced stuff. So that's nice. I mean, definitely adds a pretty touch to all this versus the uh, standard before. It's not a whole lot different on certain maps, but um, let's go back to Blood Gulch, and you'll really see the difference on the base. Yeah, see how the base is like super reflective, like down there? It's got like a, a purplish blue hue to it. And of course the scope blur, nothing there. It's clear as can be. Let's see, reflection base. So yeah, I mean that's that's what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to enable one more setting called anisotropic filtering or something like that. Anisotropic and... and it, and I said Tropic. I think that's how it's said. Um, anyways, uh, if you have an ATI Radeon, I don't have my ATI card in. I'll do that in a second. I have my NVIDIA in, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, you go to your NVIDIA control panel, and you find Manage 3D Settings. And you go to Program Settings, and you find... Uh, now, Halo EXE might not be on there by default. I don't believe it is. So if you're doing Halo or Halo Trial, they're both Halo.exe, and NVIDIA will find these by default. But if you're trying to do Halo Custom Edition, you have to find it. So you click Add. You go to your uh, you know, Program Files. If you have x86, you go there. Go down to your Microsoft Games. I don't actually have Microsoft Games. You would go to Microsoft Games, and you'd go to uh, your, your Custom Edition. My custom edition is actually in here. So you go here, you click Halo CE, and you click Open. So uh, that brings it into your uh, control panel here. And then what you do is you go to any, 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 ah, any whatever tropic filtering. And uh, you can select any number that you want. Um, personally, I run on 4 because I don't see the difference at 8 or 16. So 4 to me is where the sweet spot is. So you click 4 and you click Apply. And now it will automatically run an isotropic filtering in custom edition for uh, for you. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. I've already done it for Halo and Halo Trial. So I'll just go ahead and make a video of what this looks like. All right, real quick, this is how you're going to do this on a uh, ATI video card. You right click, you go to Catalyst Control Center on your um, properties menu. And that should to open. I actually don't have it start with my computer, that's why it's taking a little bit to load it here. Okay, so once you get into here, you go to Gaming, 3D Application Settings, and then you find uh, an isotropic filtering. Uncheck the Use the 3D Application Settings, and use the little scroll bar to find whatever setting you want. So there's 4X, like I used on the NVIDIA and I click apply and you're set so now you'll be able to play and it will look like okay so this is what it looks like uh, I don't know if you can tell the difference there's very little difference here um, it, it basically just makes the, the part of, or the textures look a little better so I'll go ahead and start a game real quick uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it hopefully but it basically if you look closely you can see that the uh, the grass looks a little bit I don't know, it pops out a little better, and uh, maybe the walls look a little, um, what's the word, like detailed? I don't know. It looks different. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I guess if you go back and look at the video before, you'll see the difference. It's it's not much, but it is a difference, and if you want to be a total graphics whore and make your game look amazing, there's just one more thing you can do. Um, as far as FPS goes, well, 
with a GTX 460, you're probably not going to see any type of uh, performance decrease. But it, you know, I use it. I think it looks cool. Looks a little bit more. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like it's just more detailed. It's like crisp. That's the word. It's crisp. It looks more crisp. Yes, crisp. Okay. Okay, I almost forgot to show you how to set the uh, maximum resolution possible for your monitor. If you have a monitor that supports a resolution higher than 1600 by 1200, you can play on those immensely large resolutions. However, it will cause you to, to be limited to V-Sync frame rate. So if you have a 60 hertz monitor, you're going to get 60 frames per second. That's just how it works. You can't go into the video settings in Halo and click no v-sync because as soon as you click OK in Halo it's going to click your resolution down to whatever Halo says it is so you're just gonna have to put up with the fact that you're gonna lose FPS doing this but if you're an absolute graphics core and you just want the best quality possible you right click your icon and this has to be the icon you open the game with so whether it be trial full version or custom edition you have to use the same icon so you right click it you go to properties and you're gonna get this window um, this actually is not normally there um, but Joe, you're going to get this. At the end, it's going to say Halo.exe or Halo.ce.exe. And then there will be a parenthesis to, to end it. So after that parenthesis, you're going to put one space, a dash, type in vid mode, and then a space, and then your width resolution. So for me, it would be 1920. A comma, the height resolution. So for me, it's 1200. Another comma, and the refresh rate of the monitor. So that would be 60 for me. Okay, so that means it's a vid mode customization at 1920 by 1200 resolution with 60 hertz. You click apply and OK, and you go ahead and can open the game. Like I said, it'll be locked VSync, 60 frames per second, but it will be your full resolution. Again, I personally think it doesn't look any different than 16 by 12, but to each their own. Alright, so that's my video on Halo graphics. Uh, I know I didn't cover everything there is to cover. But, you know, I just tried to get some, it's basically for novices that don't know what they're doing, that want to get a little bit better graphics. Uh, this just shows you some more detailed options that you can use. If you have any questions, leave a comment or post, private message me, and uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible.